Hi guys, welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to work on uh, shifting the motion from uh, a leg to a swivel motion. Um, it's important to dedicate some time to this part of the practice routine as we did for all the other shifting um, because we educate the brain to go from a thought and controlled um, brain control situation to an unconscious and spontaneous uh, situation. So we will break down uh, what happens during this shifting and uh, so that we really understand which are all the right motions and positions that we have to assume when we do this kind of shifting and then we'll make, um, we'll do a practice routine to practice this daily and uh, transform this um, to a thought uh, exercise to a spontaneous exercise. So the first thing that we have to check is uh, what happens when we go from a leg motion to a swivel uh, motion, understanding how we should anticipate and how we should prepare for this shifting. So if we see what happens uh, when we go from a leg motion to a swivel, is that the first stroke of the swivel it's still a leg motion uh, stroke. So as we can see, it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We know we never play this slow um, when we have a spring because the spring requires us um, a certain amount of speed uh, as a minimum of speed. If we go slower than this, we will have to go against the spring, which wouldn't make sense for um, to, to do this kind of exercise. So the first stroke of the swivel it's still gonna be a leg motion. So it's gonna be leg, 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 swivel, 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 leg, 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 swivel, swivel, swivel. Same thing with our left foot. Okay, and so um, we have to think of the first swivel stroke as a leg motion, but instead of working vertically, we will prepare already laterally. So we will go the first stroke, if we start with the first stroke of the swivel uh, internally, it will start in this position, in order that then from here we'll be already uh, in a position to execute the swivel. So the first leg motion of the swivel will fall like this. Instead, if we start the swivel externally, it will be the opposite. So it will be one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. Okay, so um, we have to keep in mind that this is the first position of the swivel, and so it's like a fifth leg stroke uh, in this case. So the first stroke of the swivel bar, it's gonna be a leg motion stroke. Instead, when we go from the swivel to the leg motion, we close the swivel motion, the last swivel motion, and it's also going to be the first stroke of the leg motion. So it's uh, the first leg motion is a swivel. It's the closing motion of the swivel. So it's still going to be an ankle motion. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's going to be, um, it's like the first stroke of the swivel uh, bar it's gonna be leg and the first stroke of the leg uh, bar it's gonna be the closing motion of the swivel so if you're going if you start internally it means that the first stroke is in the second stroke is out so it's one two in out in out leg and so if you of course do the opposite it's gonna be the opposite so one two three four one so um, based on how you start, if you start internally, the last stroke will be from external to leg to, so this position, instead, if it's the opposite, it's going to be from internal to leg. Okay, so putting these two um, motion, these two shifting parts together, let's see what happens. Why is this exercise so important? In this way, we will make sure that we never lose the synchronization with the pedal when we change the control and the speed 
of it. Okay, so we never have starting problems or slowing down problems when, for example, we go from one speed to another. Okay, we don't feel like that kind of tension, that kind of losing synchronization, um, and we can always have a very good uh, balance between the sound, control, spacing between the notes, density of sound, everything. Okay, it's very important to understand how to always stay synchronized to the pedal, even if we change uh, the technique or, or the muscle that we're using. In this case, we're going from a big muscle control to a small muscle of the ankle lateral control. So it's also vertical lateral. And it's very important that we understand all this positioning, the first stroke laterally, and then um, working on the lateral motion, and then shifting back to a vertical motion. It's not so... Um, spontaneous our brain has to be educated to work on this and so now we will go through um, a workout that will help us to practice this daily and to get used to it and going from uh, having to think about all this to being spontaneous and just make it happen without even realize that we're doing it because we're gonna shift it from a, a brain control to muscle um, muscle or memory so a very important step um, is to start very slow, but as we know, without, with the spring, we won't be able to play too slow. So we can get rid of the spring and start the first part of the workout without the spring. So we will do the same thing, and uh, a very important thing is not to kick the pedal and to work in a two-time, because then this means that we're going against the pedal, and when we put the spring on, that's the spring is a very strong force and that will be a lot of impact for us so we have to make sure that our foot it's always unison to the pedal no matter what um, control we are using leg, ankle, swivel, heel down, heel up, heel toe whatever it is Okay. Um, so the first part of the workout is going to be without the spring it's going to be one bar uh, quarter notes, one bar, eight notes. Um, we won't use uh, a metronome because we want to just work on the details, feeling comfortable, making sure that we're not um, kicking the pedal, that we're using unison with it, that the shifting works fine. We can start thinking of the spaces between the notes and the dynamics, even though those details uh, can be fixed in the second part of the workout. So let's start uh, doing this. We're going to do 60 seconds right foot, 60 seconds left foot. Um, and uh, again, no metronome, let's start. Okay, so if you're having any issue with playing without the spring, with the leg or swivel part, um, you can go and check the leg motion um, and swivel technique lessons where I sp explain in depth how to uh, develop this control without the spring of each motion, and then you can put it together in this lesson. Um, now let's do the same thing with our spring on. Okay, and then when we have the spring on, we can also do the alternated strokes um, using the same concept, so without metronome, without uh, paying attention to that, just alternating our legs and, and feet. And the reason why we don't do this without the spring, even though 
we could do it, but it's just a lot of effort to keep the balance and everything in check. And it's just uh, not so um, practical, not so efficient. So if you want to add it, you can. I don't because I'd rather use my time in the best way without um, putting myself in difficult situations for really no reason. It's not going to make anything uh, better straight away. So let's do this with the springs uh, and see what happens. Okay, so once we're comfortable with shifting and with doing this, uh, these motions, we can start uh, playing the second part of the workout, which will be playing on the click track, um, right, hand, uh, right foot first, left foot after, and then alternate it, and we'll play one bar of eight notes, one bar of 16 notes, then two, one bar of eight notes, two bars of 16 notes, one bar of eight notes, three bars of 16 notes, and so on, uh, so that we play more bars of the swivel and we work also on the endurance and then we keep our bar of rest playing the leg motion. So let's start doing this. So let's pay attention to the motions that we do with the swivel also when we do the alternated and also the single part, um, the one foot per time part, to always uh, have the distances between the notes even and let's pay also pay attention to the balance. It's very important when we do the alternated uh, swivel, alternated fit swivel that our balance is on the seat and we're not pressing down. If not, it will be very difficult for us to control everything. Instead, if my balance is on the seat, I have the ankles com completely free and I can control everything much better. I just feel it's just a lot easier for me. So let's pay attention to these uh, two things and then we will slowly speed it up. So uh, let's increase the speed.
Okay, so once we did uh, all this workout, we will have the uh, ability of just shifting between uh, a slow uh, and big muscle uh, motion to a very fast um, lateral and using smaller muscles of the ankle, so the articulation, um, spontaneous and without having to think about it. And this will allow us to have a solid plane, a solid timing, not having any issues on shifting, on starting and, and getting into this, the fast part. And it's very important for me to go, uh, when I want to play and go straight into the, the fast uh, stuff, to be able to just go in it without having to have some strokes of, um, let's say, introduction, some strokes that I, start in in a weird way and then I get into the, the speed but just get into it uh, straight away so in my opinion is a very important exercise it's a very important workout have a good practice and I'll see you next time